a rare and historic site in Cuba as thousands take to the streets in Havana demanding change. As the economic situation in the country continues to worsen, people say they are no longer afraid of the government. And here in South Florida, the Cuban American community stands in solidarity with those on the island. Local leaders now asking the White House to get involved. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer reports from Versailles in Little Havana, where hundreds gathered last night. Well into the night, the streets of Calle Ocho were still packed, with hundreds in Miami on Sunday calling for change in Cuba, yelling chants of freedom for the Cuban people. The lack of uh, food, they are under hunger, they are suffering so much, uh, and they're tired. The protest in Miami, a moment of solidarity with people on the island, and an uprising decades in the making. This video from Havana shows people flooding the streets of Cuba, demanding food and vaccines as COVID-19 cases soar and calling for the end of decades of dictatorship. For this to happen, they have to have reached a moment of desperation that is so bad that they're willing to risk their lives. And for that, we have to support them. In Miami on Sunday, the streets of Little Havana were filled with people, many of whom fled communist Cuba, like Andrew Suarez. I'm actually more um, emotional by the fact that I'm seeing this happening in Cuba because that's something very, uh, very difficult. We could do this. We live in freedom. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.